sift the flour onto greaseproof paper. Fold the paper as it will make it easier to add the flour to the pan. Put 225 milliliters of cold water into a pan and add the butter. Bring to the boil, then quickly turn off the heat and slide the flour mixture off the paper and into the pan. Using a wooden spoon, beat the mixture until it becomes thick and smooth and pulls away cleanly from the side of the pan. This should take just a few seconds. Allow to cool until just warm. Spreading the mixture onto a plate or into a bowl will help it cool. Beat the eggs into the mixture, a little at a time, until smooth. At first the mixture will seem as if it doesn't want to come together, but keep adding a little at a time and beating it and it will mix in smoothly. Beat until the mixture is thick, glossy and shiny. The mixture should drop off the spoon reluctantly when tapped lightly on the side of the pan. Note that not all of the egg might be needed. Shoe pastry is classically used to make profiteroles. Line a baking sheet with baking parchment and spoon the mixture on using teaspoons or use a piping bag. Dampen a finger with a little water and dab down any points on the dough and smooth them. Bake at 200 degrees centigrade for 25 to 30 minutes until golden brown. Remove from the oven and make a pea-sized hole with a skewer on the underside of each bun to release any steam. Return to the oven for five minutes to dry out. Whip the cream with the icing sugar and use to fill a piping bag fitted with a five millimeter nozzle. Pipe sweetened whipped cream into the shoe buns through the hole made during baking. Fill the buns until the cream begins to almost squeeze out of the hole. Melt the chocolate in a bowl, set over a pan of gently simmering water. Then dip the profiteroles into melted chocolate to coat the tops. Thank you.